just because it's written uh, in a, uh, on a web page or in a press release doesn't mean that that's uh, factual. It doesn't mean that it's uh, um, the whole truth. It doesn't mean it's not misleading. It doesn't mean that's the truth. It means it's written on a web page. So I'd like to ask everybody who, d who does look at that web page to, uh, to look at the underlying documents to uh, question, and when you say it's, when the, they say it's no risk to the, I think it says it's no risk to the existing general fund. That means um, existing general fund. Well, the, the risk doesn't apply to existing. It's always future. Any business, uh, I mean, if uh, I had a deal that if I was to open a business in Anaheim, I didn't have to pay taxes for 20 years, um, yes, that risks the general fund. Because I could always, and just because you say, well, I wouldn't open otherwise, doesn't make sense. So, uh, and f you know, finally, if it, uh, I made a motion, let me put it this way, if it's such a great deal, then the people would recognize that. And, uh, and I made a motion that we bring up to the vote of the people. And that died for a lack of a second. And if it's such a great, wonderful deal, the people would recognize that and would vote for it. Um, and that didn't happen. It is a risk to the general fund. It's $158 million. A check will be written uh, all the way to 2042, possibly, to that uh, developer. Um, it's a deal that no other business gets. It's not in a long line of, of public-private partnerships that the city's done. Uh, the city's done uh, public buildings, convention center, stadium, Honda Center. Those are all public buildings that we've invested in, not a private hotel, one of 90 that we already have. So um, uh, I would encourage people, if you'd look at the web page, to actually uh, do more research, look at the document, uh, see that the developer put the property in at $30 million rather than the value today, that, uh, that, uh, that covers that cost. Uh, see, that the, see that the assumptions behind that is that uh, the rate will be $250 per night per room at 100% occupancy uh, for the re entire agreement to 2042. Um, see that there's no requirement that even be four-star, not one requirement that that hotel be a, a, a four-star luxury hotel. So I, I, I would ask people to really research this and uh, ask the question why it wasn't put to the vote of the people.